everyone and I am doing another Victorian baking video but it is for uh, there's a special occasion and that is that my son Peter is turning six years old so if you watch my Victorian lemon cake baking video then you will have seen uh, you you will know that I baked that and when Peter tasted it he said, I didn't know anything could be better than chocolate cake, which is very rare to come out of a kid's mouth. But he does have kind of um, unusual taste for a kid. And I had forgotten about there's this cake, St. Clement's cake. And I had heard about it on the Bonnets at Dawn podcast. They have it as one of the regular tea cakes that they serve at Elizabeth Gaskell's house in Manchester. And everyone just said it was amazing and it's this wonderful marriage of orange and lemon um kind of the orange brings a real sweetness to it and then the lemon brings a real tartness and together it's something beautiful um there are a lot of different variations of saint clement's cake most of them make them um as a variation of a victoria sandwich cake or victoria sponge cake which is two cake layers and in between those you put a jam and some whipped cream usually um so i'm going to make mine kind of like that uh some of them have um just orange juice or just lemon juice but i really wanted to put both of them together so i did orange zest and lemon zest um and i don't know if you could tell in the vlog but i totally cut zested my finger when i was doing the actual cake baking today that did not feel good um, so word of caution, be careful when you are zesting. Uh, so I wanted to use both of them in it. Uh, so I didn't use any juice because I did use two times the amount of zest, but I never feel like citrus cakes taste too citrusy. So I figured I'd add extra. And then the first thing that I made that you saw is, was a lemon curd or sorry, an orange curd. And I used, um, blood oranges. So it almost looks like grapefruit curd, but it was my first time making it and it was really successful. So I'm going to put a layer of the curd on top of the cake and then I'm going to whip some cream and then I'm going to put a lemon drizzle on top of that. And I'm very excited about it. Um, I love a good citrus cake. As you, If you watch the lemon, uh, you know, the lemon cake vlog, I love it. I'm hoping this one isn't dry because the layers were very thin. I haven't tasted it yet, but I did want to give you some history of it, of um, St. Clement's cake. Uh, and it's like such an old rhyme that people do have a hard time figuring out specifically what it's about. But it comes from a rhyme that says, Orange, oranges and lemons say the bells of St. Clement's. You owe me five farthings say the bells of St. Martin's. When will you pay me, say the bells at Old Bailey. When I grow rich, say the bells at Shoreditch. When will that be, say the bells of Stepney. I do not know, says the great bell at Bow. Here comes a candle to light you to bed, and here comes a chopper to chop off your head. Chop, 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 the last man is dead. So it's like London Bridge is Falling Down, where it's you know seems kind of like this really charming children's rhyme, and then there's some really sinister things at the end of it. Um... And there are churches in, um, in the London area that these are all referencing these different churches. And it says, references to pancakes and fritters, kettles and pans and brickbats and tiles tell us of bakers, coppersmiths, and builders in areas around St. Peter upon Corn Hill, St. Anne's and St. Giles and Cripplegate. Um, there are also references to recreation, bullseyes, and targets. And apparently there was archery practice that happened in the fields behind St. Margaret Lothbury. And the notion of anything approaching a field in the area around Bank seems bizarre today, but there are also other references which strike an odd note to the contemporary ear. Perhaps the most sinister lyric is pokers and tongs at St. John's Chapel. So, um... Yeah, I don't think, yeah, I didn't have pokers and tongs in the rhyme that I just read. Apparently there are different variations. Um, and it says the curious and spectacularly dark end lines. Here come the candle to light you to bed. Here comes the chopper to chop off your head. Probably refers to practices at Newgate Prison. Um, it stood on the current site of the Old Bailey next to St. Sepulchre's Church. 
The sound of that church's great tenor bell striking 9 a.m. on Monday morning would signal that hangings were going to be happening that week. Uh, the prisoners on death row were visited the night before by the bellman, and um, he would hold a candle in one hand and ring the execution bell in the one in the other and recite a poem. All you that in the condemned, condemned hole do lie, prepare you for tomorrow you shall die. Examine all yourselves and time repent that you may not be to eternal flames sent. And when St. Sepulchre's bell in the morning tolls, the Lord above have mercy on your souls. So very, very haunting, um, that rhyme. And I just, that's just so, I, I just can't imagine. That's just really, un, you know, unbelievable to me. So haunting. Um, so it's obviously really uh, had a hold culturally if it's, you know, still being, uh, if there's a cake that's named after it, you know what I mean? It's really like saturated the culture. And it says um, that in 1744 in Tommy Thumb's Pretty Songbook was the first time it was ever in print. Um, and like I said, there are many variations, um, but it's basically talking about London in the 16th and 17th century and it is a rhyme um that like a you know a playground rhyme that kids will say today so that's the history of the saint clement's cake and um we'll see what peter thinks of it for his birthday like i said i hope this isn't dry one of my things that i really strive for when i'm baking especially cake and cookies is that they not be dry so we'll see what happens uh but i'll let you see the final product when i put the curd on and the cream and the icing tomorrow and i can't wait to taste it See if that boy right. can do this. Keep going. There you go. There you go. Yay! 